Hey there guys, what's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here with another Blu-ray review and unboxing. Uh, guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a Blu-ray review and unboxing for one of the best comic book movies uh, to have been released this year thus far, and it is for X-Men Days of Future Past. That's right guys, X-Men Days of Future Past is now available on Blu-ray. Uh, it was uh, released today, October 14th from, uh, well now it's the 15th, I'm filming this uh, very late. It was released from 20th Century Fox and is now available for purchase. Um, there are several different versions of this uh, movie floating around in Blu-ray format. There is the standard Blu-ray plus digital HD uh, combo that does not include the DVD. None of these copies include a DVD uh, if you're just buying the Blu-ray. Uh, just to warn you guys, so that's the standard 2D Blu-ray. Then there's the 3D Blu-ray combo that comes with the 3D Blu-ray, the 2D Blu-ray, and the digital copy. And uh, yeah, that's actually about it. And uh, so I picked up uh, the 2D Blu-ray today. I went to Best Buy earlier today, managed to pick up a copy, and uh, I got this for only $19.50. It was $17.99. Um, it was uh, $17.99, and, uh, and then it came to... Uh, uh, 1950 after tax, so pretty good deal for X-Men Days of Future Past. And uh, would have gotten this review up sooner, guys, but uh, really busy. And then I ran into several complicated problems uh, tonight. And now it's 12 midnight on October 15th, and uh, I'm just filming this now. I just got home, and I've just had a really tough night. So I apologize for the, the lack of... Uh, getting this up early but uh, what I'm going to do guys in this video I'm going to do a very quick review and unboxing um since I basically just got home um I um I I didn't even get to pop in the blu-ray so I'm not even really going to talk about the picture and the audio quality and I apologize for that greatly but uh, because of the night I had I just can't even so what I'm going to do I'm going to show off the packaging I'm going to give my thoughts on the movie briefly. I already reviewed it. And then I'm going to talk about the picture and audio according to what Blu-ray.com says. And then um, I'll talk about the special features a little bit. Not too much because I haven't even seen the movie yet. I mean, it's such a shame. I, I can't even... I don't have the time. I'm just so busy and overwhelmed with things. But uh, anyway, that's not your problem. That's my problem. So let's take a quick look at the uh, front of the slipcover. I'm going to go through this really fast, guys, so I can uh, get through this. Uh, anyway... First off, right off the bat, I went to Best Buy and they had the 3D Blu-ray uh, exclusive with the Sentinel uh, Trask head, you know, th those things with the bl exclusive Trask blueprint files or whatever, and then those that exclusive, you know, Best Buy exclusive. I didn't care for that. I didn't really want that. Uh, I was fine with um, just the standard uh, 2D Blu-ray. I, I think this has the best slipcover. Comment down below. Let me know what you think the best slipcover for Days of Future Past is. I, th I think the 3D Blu-ray one looks okay. Um, the back of the 3D Blu-ray one looks better than the back of this. But the front of this looks a lot better. I love the front of the slipcover. This is one of my favorite slipcovers for a Blu-ray release of this year, actually. Anyway, taking a look at the top. Uh, there it says Blu-ray and Digital HD. No DVD, as I said earlier. And it says X-Men Days of Future Past. The logo's cut off. Sorry, I'm going to have to peel that off. I have a very bad feeling that that sticker is not going to come off and it's going to leave a terrible mark. Um, then you can see there's images of the Sentinels, uh, which looks pretty badass. And then we have our main characters in the midst of, in the midst of destruction and chaos. You see there's fire in the back and everything. Uh, it actually looks very cool. You have uh, Wolverine at the front. Hugh Jackman looking awesome as always. Um, then you have uh, Professor X and Magneto. It's pretty cool how these are, they're all from the, uh, the future, well except for Quicksilver, and they're all from the past. Uh, so that's pretty, you know what, oh no, future, uh, Quicksilver, no, Quicksilver is from the past, yeah. I haven't seen this movie in so long, um, I gotta go back and watch this over again, um, but I, I like how they, uh, put them on the, the sides of, of, uh, Logan, uh, so yeah, there's, uh, Charles Xavier and Ma uh, Magneto, uh, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen, uh, and then there's James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender as the young Professor X, young Magneto. Then there's a uh, Hank, young Hank, and then of course Jennifer Lawrence's Mystique. So I love the front of the subcar. I love what's going on. It's very shiny. It's got that like little like rainbow 
sparkle going over it when you turn it against the light, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, then you got some stickers. Uh, they're obviously going to be promoting the uh, Exodus Gods and Kings starring Christian Bale. Ridley Scott's newest film comes out this December. Then they have a sticker, an hour of exclusive extras, and a fan art collection, which I can't wait to show you, which is pretty cool, and also promoting the digital copy. Uh, taking a look at the spine, I really like the spine, too, because it has different characters on each side. There you have uh, Logan and uh, Mystique. Uh, there's the X-Men Days of Future Past logo right there. There's uh, Storm and Beast. Uh, pretty awesome. And then you flip. You get uh, Magnino and Magnino, Michael Fassbender and Ian McKellen, X-Men logo again, and then uh, James McAvoy, Patrick Stewart, both Professor X's. So I think that is very cool. like the spine, like the slip. Then the back is cool, but it's not as cool as the back of the 3D version, but uh, still pretty interesting. Uh, first off, taking a look at the uh, the bio right there. Uh, if you guys want to read it, I'm not going to read it. They'll, uh, I'm saving time here, so uh, just pause the video, put it in HD, 720 and you're good to go um, and then again uh, before I get into the special features and everything uh, there is uh, the X, big X logo and it splits sides there's the uh, the past and uh, the future and there's a uh, Logan with uh, Magneto uh, Magneto and Professor X why did I just mix them up Storm is in the middle um, that's Future Storm. And then we have Mystique, Magneto, and Professor X. And uh, what I really loved about Days of Future Past was that they took Brian Singer's X-Men uh, from, um, uh, what do you call it, X-Men First Class. And, uh, I mean, uh, they took the X-Men from First Class, which was directed by Matthew Vaughn, and then Brian Singer's X-Men from the first two X-Men movies. You mix them into one. I like that. Um, so I thought that was awesome seeing those, kind of those two pads collide, but, uh, anyway guys, um, so yep, back the subcover looks awesome, taking a look at the special features, an hour of extraordinary special features, I like how they did that, you get the X-Men Days of Future Past second screen app, you get Double Take, Xavier and Magneto, Sentinels for a Secure Future, X-Men Reunited, and much more, and then there's a quote from Maria Reinstein of US Weekly, an electrifying ride, talks about digital copy and that's it all right so uh let's take off this slip cover and there are a considerable amount of differences on the back of the slip and uh the um the blu-ray case so uh but the front is the same and that is how the whole front looks without the stickers uh the spines exact same except you don't get the uh xavier and magnino uh then the backs are completely different here's a whole new back um, the quote is now up there, the bio is here, which I believe is the same, but then you get pictures from the movie, there, there's your pictures from the movie, you get Mystique jumping out of the building, or the window, um, Professor, Professor X in front of Cerebro, with Logan and, uh, Hank, and then, uh, Magneto, towards the end of the movie, interesting, uh, finale, and, uh, Logan when he first appears in the past. Uh, and all those guys shot him up. <laughs> uh, that was an awesome scene. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so uh, that's it for the uh, front. Now let's uh, open this this up, take the uh, digital copy code out because I'm giving it to a friend who is getting antsy. I've been promising him, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. But uh, all day long I was just so busy and I didn't even get to give them to him yet. So anyway, uh, taking all those flyers out, guys, let's take a look at the disc real quick. Uh, it says X-Men Days of Future Past Blu-ray. There is a Professor X and Professor X. Um, <laughs> uh, young and old Professor X, and I think that looks pretty awesome. So uh, I'm guessing the 3D Blu-ray disc like, had both Magnetos, uh, but obviously I don't know. I got the 2D version, but uh, nevertheless, I like disc art. Now, um, you do get a flyer promoting, oh god, one of, another one of my favorites of the year, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I will be buying this Blu-ray opening day. I think it comes out December 9th. But uh, don't quote me on that. And then the back is the uh, code for the digital copy. Uh, then this basically lists, uh, talks about the second screen experience you can do. The Avengers did this before as well. Uh, there you go. And then you get uh, fan art, which is this fan art booklet. I'm going to skim through it, guys. Uh, you know, basically showing like, uh, you know, like concept artwork for the film. Uh, that's Magnino's helmet, I think. Uh, X-Men, Days of Future Past. Got some pretty... I, I basically just took a brief look into it. There's the Sentinels. Design of the Sentinel head. Um, 
So, uh, pretty cool artwork there's on that. You know, I guess this is just, like, concept art. Uh, pretty cool designs. And, uh, yeah. So, interesting. Uh, I didn't get to look through it all, so, uh, obviously that's why I just skimmed through it. But, obviously, you guys will get to look through it more if you guys actually purchase this. Um, so let's, uh, pack everything up. There we go. Put the slipcover on, and we're good to go almost. And, uh... Yeah, so uh, that's it, guys, uh, for the actual uh, showing you the unboxing. Now, as I said, I did not get a chance to even play the movie yet on Blu-ray. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I can't even comment on the picture or the audio quality. I've just I've had a really bad day. Uh, a lot of things went wrong today, and not only did I just have a really disappointing day, uh, I was busy and. Uh, Unwanted things happen. I lost time and uh, I just didn't get a chance to pop in the movie. So I'm sorry about that. Nevertheless, I did hear that the picture quality was near flawless. I believe they gave it a 4.5 out of 5 on Blu-ray.com. Same thing for the audio. I believe both of those got a 4.5 out of 5 for this release. Uh, which means stunning picture and audio quality. I'm sure it's beautiful. And the special features, I think that... They were saying that there could have been more, but I know there's definitely over an hour because I was looking at the detailed special features, and uh, a few of the featurettes are about 18 minutes. You know, there's like there's like three or four featurettes, I think. Two of them were already listed on the back. They're uh, Double Take, Xavier and Magneto. Yeah, uh, that's like 14, 18 minutes. Sentinels for a secure feature. I'm not sure exactly, but they're about... Let's say about between 15 and 20 minutes each, and there's a couple of them, and then you get a few other little things. No deleted scenes or anything, no extended scenes. They're supposed to be releasing an extended director's cut of the film next year, which I probably should have waited for to get, but uh, I just wanted that now I don't need the extended cut. I love the movie. I don't need any extended cuts. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's really it. Uh, thoughts on the movie itself. This actually might be my favorite X-Men movie. Uh, I was never a huge fan of the X-Men franchise, to be honest, to be completely honest with you guys, but uh, I always really enjoyed this one. This is up there with, like, First Class and X-Men 2 and the first one. Um, I really, really enjoyed Days of Future Past, and I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it, or if you saw the movie, I definitely recommend the Blu-ray release. This is a fantastic release from Fox, great slipcover. Great inside cover art, all that, I think, all came out perfectly. And I'm really impressed with it, actually. Um, very, very nice release. Movie itself, action-packed, uh, funny here and there. Star-studded cast with excellent performances. Great score, great editing, uh, really exciting, intense moments. I loved X-Men Days of Future Past. Highly recommend it. I can't wait for the next X-Men film. So uh, there you go, guys. That's all I have to say. I uh, wanted to get through this, and uh, there you go. So, guys, if you did pick up X-Men Days of Future Past, let me know what you think of the Blu-ray. Let me know what you think of the movie itself. Do you like it? What's your favorite X-Men movie? And, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts on the picture and audio and all that on this Blu-ray. What, what releases did you guys pick up? I picked up the standard 2D. So that's all I have to say, guys. Thanks for being patient with me. Sorry for the fact this video is late. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.